Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 2005 action thriller film Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's time to recall. Let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The film opens with John and Jane Smith talking to a marriage counselor. They reveal that their relationship is so boring and stagnant they can't remember how long they've been married, which they call five or six years, and cannot even recall when they had sex for the last time. Upon the counselor's question about their first meeting, they tell them they met for the first time in Colombia. Although both were traveling alone, they pretended to be together just to dodge the police who were investigating solo tourists. At their initial interactions, John introduced himself as a construction executive, while Jane told him she works in tech support. They fell in love after the first few meetings and decided to get married. At present, both are fed up with the marriage and barely talk to each other. They occasionally try to initiate the conversations, but most of them just end in a few minutes as neither of them is ready to discuss anything. After a few days, John comes back to the counselor alone and shares that he loves her, but their marriage gets quite difficult at times. On the other side, she tells that there is nothing serious, but both have their own secrets which they want to hide from each other. Their secrets are out soon as it's revealed that they both work as field operatives with different agencies and are considered best at their jobs as they never miss a target. As both work as secret agents, they are bound to keep up with their appearances, so they often attend different get-togethers in the neighborhood, although neither of them is interested in it. None of them has told the other about their real jobs and they try to best to hide them from each other. Both are hiding their secret weapons and other important stuff in safe places at the house, but the other does not know anything about it. Smith, who has established Smith Engineering Firm as his cover, performs most of his tasks from that company. One day as he arrives, he receives a call from his handler who tells him about a DIA prisoner, Benjamin Dans, aka The Tank, and orders him to kill him because he might be a threat to the company's operations. At the same time, Jane is also instructed to kill Benjamin while being transported from one facility to the other. She sets up explosives on the convoy's suite and decides to blow up the cars as they cross the secret point set by her. Before she can activate the explosive, John arrives in his jeep, but she cannot recognize the face and thinks it's a civilian. Soon, she learns he is armed and planning to attack them, so she shoots at him, but he survives. As she tries to recognize him, the convoy arrives in the trap zone, but John fires at her hideout, detonating the explosive and destroying everything inside. She leaves on her bike while he checks the debris, but can't find anything other than the laptop. John meets his friend Eddie and tells him that a girl has destroyed his mission. On the other side, Jane gets angry with a stranger who messed up her plan. She receives a call from her boss asking her to find him in 48 hours, otherwise she might lose her position. Meanwhile, John gets the laptop checked and finds an address of a building in New York. He arrives at the building but finds no one can enter without going through the security. As he stands there thinking of a plan, he comes across a label revealing it's Jane's office, and she is not what she always pretends to be. Jane also finds the truth about him after watching a videotape of the incident. He calls her to find out if there's anything unusual, but she does not disclose anything. After arriving at the house at night, both get suspicious of each other and stay alert while starting their dinner. They ask about each other's work, but both reveal that they have been having some problems at the moment, but it will sort itself out soon. Both get alarmed by each other's intentions, thinking the other is on the mission to kill them. He brings in the gun to attack her, but she takes the car and drives away. Both want to attack the other, so when he spots the car, she tries to run him over, but he saves himself after jumping on it. Realizing that he might take a lead on her, she leaves the car and breaks it down after crashing into the fence. He discusses the situation with Eddie and tells that he does not trust her at all, because if she lied about her job, she must have lied about everything else. Meanwhile, Jane also tells her friend about him and she suggests killing him. Afraid of his next move, Jane calls her team to check up on her house and finds clues about him. Soon, John comes back to the house but finds out his secret weapons are already gone. He gets angry with Jane and decides to show up at her office but finds out she was already looking for him. As soon as he arrives at the building, Jane immediately orders for her staff to evacuate and escapes with them. John picks up the destroyed equipment from her office and starts looking for clues while Eddie asks him to kill Jane. John finds a lead about Jane and her team and decides to raid that place. He arrives at their building and tries to go up through the elevator but finds out Jane is a step ahead of him and has already disabled it. He calls her but she warns him to leave town otherwise she will blow up the elevator but he provokes her to go on. Although she hesitates, she decides to go with her plan and detonates the explosive, apparently killing John in the incident. 
She gets worried about him and tries to find him out without knowing that he is alive and safe in the next elevator. Jane sits in a hotel alone while crying out for him but he shows up out of nowhere and tells her that he wants a divorce. Both again threaten to kill each other but he invites her to dance with him. While dancing, both disarm each other and think that they were just the cover stories for their significant other. Jane gets upset about it and leaves the room but John knows she must be up to something. Soon he proves to be right as she creates chaos by setting up the explosive in the hotel and leaves with the crowd. After getting out, a man informs that something is ticking on him and he finds out she has left a bomb inside his pocket which he throws away right before it explodes. While chasing her again, he calls her and threatens to kill her just like she tried to but she does not take it seriously. As John knows about her profession now, he wants to confirm whether she loved him or not. He proclaims his love for her but she tells him that it was just a cover for her. He gets upset by thinking it was all about her job but she does not clarify anything. Both arrive at the house at the same time but she overtakes him and locks the doors. After going around the house and hiding from her, he finally manages to get inside through the back door and pulls out his gun from his secret locker. Both attack each other and start a nasty fight that destroys the entire house. Both come face to face with guns pointing at each other. She asks him to shoot but he lowers his gun, realizing that he cannot shoot her. Both rekindle their love and share a kiss before being interrupted by neighbors who show up at the door asking what happened inside but John sends them away. Both reveal their secrets which they hadn't told each other yet. While they talk, they are attacked by someone and rush to hide at a safe place. While preparing the counterattack, he tells her he was given 48 hours to kill her and she tells the same. They realize that they have been attacked by the respective companies who try to kill them with a bomb. John throws it away but it gets under a fuel tank and blows up the entire house while they manage to escape right in time. They get up again and escape in their neighbor's minivan. Meanwhile, Eddie is offered a bounty of $400,000 for killing them but he turns down the offer. While driving away, John shares more secrets and tells her that he never went to MIT as he told her but did major in history. He also reveals he never liked her cooking but she confesses that she never cooked and hired someone else to do it. She also tells him that she is an orphan and hired someone to play her parents at their wedding. Soon they realize they are being followed in three sedans sent by the companies. Jane initially tries to fight against them but asks him to switch places with her and execute a counterattack. Continuing to reveal their secrets and criticizing each other's fighting tactics, they eventually destroy all of them and escape again. Both arrive to meet Eddie and discuss the current situation, revealing that they are being attacked by someone. He tells them that their companies are trying to get them down so they must split their ways or find another way out. To preserve their marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Smith decide to kidnap Benjamin and use him to make a bargain with their respective companies. She gets the information about Benjamin that he is being held under high security and they decide to get him out. John goes inside while Jane assists him from outside the building and they succeed in abducting him from custody. Smith questions him asking why both companies wanted him dead. He reveals that both companies found out that they were married so they jointly hired him to kill them because two competing agents cannot live under the same roof as it's against their interests. They realize Benjamin was just a bait to make them fight and kill each other. John finds a tracker from his belt but before they can do anything, they are attacked again. While hiding, they decide to fight together against them as John thinks if they run now, they would be running forever. Both jointly fight against them and defeat them all. In the end, they meet with the marriage counselor again and tell them that their marriage has been hard but they work things through and it's going great now. John urges him to ask the sex question again and silently replies 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps. Ooh, movie recaps. Ooh, movie